We're hiking to the lake to find the canoes. <laughs> in a northern Alberta forest. We're pretty far north in Alberta. Yeah, we're west of Peace River. West of Peace River, Alberta. Near Last Lake. So it's about, uh, it's over a thousand kilometers, over 600 miles from home. Took us 13 hours to get here. We're enjoying it. This is all our property for a week. This is private property. We're renting it for a week. <laughs> the owner said, I hope you don't mind being alone because we're going away for the weekend. So if you need anything, hopefully you'll be okay. We're just fine. We love this. We got lots of food and water and everything. Well, it's our first time here ever, so you'll see what we see. We don't even know what's ahead yet. <laughs> Wherever the trail leads us. I think turn right, yep. It's kind of a trail, you know, it's, it's not used very much. It, some people come here, they stay a couple nights, they don't go walking anywhere. They, Sit by the fire and drink beer. <laughs> Real spongy here too. The ground is really spongy. <laughs> Good shock absorber. If you were jogging here, you'd be bouncing up and down. Yeah. <laughs> Pop's got the bear bell on. Hey bear! If there's any bears, they would be in the shade here, cool enough. <laughs> we even brought Peach, our crow. He's back in the house. Yeah, we brought a nice big Avery for him to play in and we brought him in his travel cage. And if you didn't know we had a pet crow, subscribe to our channel. Check it out. We've got a lot of videos there off of Peach. <laughs> <laughs> we want to find the lake and those canoes. And yeah, we explore today. Then we can go on canoe rides or do whatever we want. Hiking. Then we know where we're going. Wouldn't waste half of a day just walking in circles. <laughs> it's nice in here. Yeah. A forest. A forest walk. See for us. <laughs> Any bears in here, Kulika? I'm sure there are bears here. <laughs> yeah, there's signs all over the house. Watch out for bears. I mean, what are we supposed to do? Let, give them the right away. <laughs> Take off, you know. <laughs> Try to get hey out of there. Yeah, there's the signal. <laughs> they said make noise and. Must be on hill or something. Yeah, they say if these are all disturbed, that means there's probably been a bear recently. They like digging up those, those ant hills. That looks pretty stable. So. <laughs> they must eat those. They just eat a million of them to get something out of them. <laughs> Yeah, this is a nice forest walk. Yeah, check this out. Nice. What's that, Kulika? A watering can? Wow, I grew up with that kind of watering cans. They're all made of zinc uh, sheet metal. <laughs> <laughs> Brings back That's memories. That's exactly what they look like, yeah. <laughs> now they're all plastic. Yeah. Wow. The trail continues this way. Let's head that way. Kulika wants to see some canoes. <laughs> she likes canoeing. I'll try a few. Yeah. There's a ladder up a tree there. I get up on a tree when bear comes. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> bear can climb a tree. You go up and then you knock the ladder up. A bear can climb a tree a hundred times faster than a human. Black bear, yeah, they don't need ladders. <laughs> no. They're Black excellent climbers. climbers yeah. I've seen videos. Actually, one time in northern Saskatchewan, a few years ago, at a place called Amisk Lake. That's northern Saskatchewan, near the Manitoba border. We were picnicking in an area near the lake, but not on the main beach area, like further down from it. And we saw a bear in the bush. So we had our little horns that we carry, noisemakers. 
I rang the horn. That bear was up the tree. We'll just, just pretend this is the tree here. I rang that horn. That bear was up that tree probably in two seconds. Yeah, I bought that this one. The horn really scared him and he just, he was gone, like he shot up the tree. <laughs> so those horns are very effective. But I was just making an example how well bears can climb. Like if you went up that ladder, <laughs> he could just, like a bear can outrun you and they can out climb you any day, any time, <laughs> like any, any way. You can't outrun a bear or out climb one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you. I got some bear spray here. I'm wearing it on my hip here in a holster. I always carry that when I'm hiking. And Kulika has one in the bag there too. And some air horns. So it's good to be prepared. Yeah, we're looking for the lake with the canoes. On the map there it shows it's bordering a, a sod farm. So when we see that, I think we go right, I think. Yeah, the people that own this property, they have a sod farm. And they have that as a side business. They rent out the other property that we're on for a week. Well, you can see it. <laughs> Big open air, it's like a golf course. <laughs> they sell turf. They have lots of land. Yeah, you can see it. Get your golf clubs out. <laughs> Here's a marker here. Bear trail. Yeah, there's the big sod farm. Huge open area. Now we go around the corner here somewhere and we should find those canoes, according to the map. Yeah, get your golf sticks out here and golf. <laughs> Pop on the prairie now. <laughs> There's something around the corner there. And here's a canoe. Oh, I see a canoe. Yeah. Also, there's a irrigation system here. Because they gotta water this turf. They can't rely on rain. There they are! Whole bunch of canoes, take your pick. <laughs> There's a nice bird making a tune there in the trees. I see him at the top of the tree there. <laughs> yeah, kayaks, canoes, and a pedal boat. <laughs> pedal boat here, yeah. And this is your driveway here, you go out in the lake. <laughs> yeah, and there's the lake there. That's a pond we So Kulika's gonna pick out a kayak and try one out. I'll wait here on shore. So Kulika's trying out a kayak. And the pup went in, swimming alongside her. <laughs> She's just trying it out. We'll go again out on the lake another time. I wouldn't mind trying that pedal boat. <laughs> There's a beaver house there, yeah. Don't disturb those beavers! <laughs> Cassie wants to go out with her. <laughs> well, she'll come in the canoe when we go. <laughs> Maybe she'll pull her in. <laughs> So Cassie got in the kayak with Gulika. They're just doing a little tour. They're not going to go far. Cassie jumped out of the kayak. Gulika's on her own now. There comes the pup. How is it? How is it? Very nice. <laughs> it's so warm, like basketball. I'm not talking like <laughs> There's the pup. He's going to shake on me. I'm backing up. <laughs> Don't shake on me! 
right away they want to come to you and shake on you. <laughs> Good. Oh, it was nice. There's Kulika. Back from her little kayak trip. <laughs> Except for uh, I am all muddy. <laughs> yeah, well, those are the hazards. Those are the hazards. <laughs> I had to get the wet pup in the boat because she was like swimming all around, so I couldn't. Yeah. Uh, so I thought I'll pull her in, but then she. <laughs> next thing she wanted to go out. And, <laughs> oh well. That's what that happened. We'll take her in one of these canoes another time. We'll do a little canoe trip on the lake. So that's it for the video here of hiking in the forest to the canoes at Last Lake, Alberta, in the Peace River area. Beautiful up here and warm too. So hope you enjoyed watching this video. And please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and click that notification bell so you get notified when we have new videos out. And also share our videos if you like them.